Hi, uh, happy April. I figured for this month's uh, Sarah's self-care blog, I would do a vlog, video log, instead, um, because I really wanted to talk to you about everything going on right now. Um, so Sarah's self-care was supposed to be for the whole year, and uh, I really wanted it to be a year of change, a year of growth. Sorry if you hear Mila drinking water. We just got back from the park not too long ago. Um, and the last time that I wrote to you was in March. And then coronavirus hit. And it's kind of been really weird, uh, both personally and um, financially and mentally and physically and with work and everything else going on in our lives. Uh, for April, I really wanted to focus, for example, on uh, like physical um, self-care and working out and different ways of working out at home, different ways of working out in the gym, people who inspire me, fitness experts that I turn to when I have questions or when I wanna learn something new. And April just totally went out the window. We're already almost at the end of April and I realized I did nothing like self care wise, or at least that's kind of what I initially thought. You know, I didn't do what I had planned on doing, but then again, with COVID-19, nothing is as we planned it to be. And sometimes you have to learn in life that no matter how much you plan, sometimes you have to take that plan and just rip it up. Sometimes you have to take where you are and pivot and and change direction change um, change your mentality change your approach um, and April ended up just kind of going out the window so did March honestly because everything started to hit in March so the last two months the last few weeks of this pandemic have just been strange for all of us and I just wanted to send you a message just letting you know that you're not alone in that um, there are people who deal with things in certain ways. Some people are really super motivated right now to buckle down on things that they've always wanted to do. They're learning a new language, they're reading books, they're meditating, they're doing yoga, they're working out, they're uh, discovering you know, the next planet. People are really buckling down and then others are just lucky to get up and actually shower and feed themselves and uh, and get out of bed in the morning. So um, everybody's different. I feel like I'm somewhere in between. You know, uh, the morning show is still going strong. We're still actually going into the building to do the show and then we're trying to leave as fast as possible. Um, basically just being in the building for any equipment and software that we need and then the rest we can do from home, from our computers at home. Um, so every day is a little different. Um, depending on what we're focusing on station wise, but I'm trying my best to balance work and um, not being completely lazy, which is difficult. Uh, like I said, April was supposed to be about physical health. And I've done none of that. I'll tell you right now. I have barely lifted a finger working out wise and I can feel it. Um, I tried in the beginning to really maintain some sort of structure some sort of schedule and that went out the window as well so i just wanted you to know that sarah's year of self-care is like still going strong in my head and i still definitely plan on trying to find ways to integrate that back into my routine back into my life um without this pandemic affecting it but i don't know if that'll happen right now that's the plan and like i said earlier might have to pivot that plan. Um, but I'm still here and I'm still taking this year bettering myself, even if it's just uh, taking a little time out of my day to not have the TV on and get outside with Mila and enjoy nature or sit here and meditate or read a book or just, just take time away and have some sense of normalcy if there is such a thing as normalcy right now. So we're all doing our best, uh, including me, and I'm here with you. And Sarah's, Sarah's year is still going strong. It's so weird to talk in the third person. I know, I shouldn't do it, you're right. Okay, um, I'll talk to you guys again soon, and thanks for listening, and thanks for reading, and thanks for being a part of the KML family.